Hello there, and welcome to this small tutorial on how to use the battle center to create zones and uh, the likes to spawn custom AI units for you to shoot at, so you don't have to create missions by spawning everything manually in the RTE, and uh, you don't have to pay too much attention to setting waypoints yourself. So like always, you connect to the server, you open the 6 menu, and enable the modification mode, so you basically log in as a mission maker. What you get now is the DAC by default, like in this list you see here, but uh, I'm gonna first uh, set the player start position before I forget, what I, which I always do. So for the purposes of this video I'm gonna start off in the airfield south of Turkestan, and what I'm gonna do next is create a base so that you spawn into the game and you already have like some friendly units uh, going about and some ambience. So very important first thing you do is set the size of the DAC group or unit you wanna create. By default it's set to east so if I didn't change that now I could go ahead and select infantry but what that would do is it would create enemy units where we spawn and that would be quite a mess and uh, well you would have to start over the whole mission. Selecting a site enables you to select the different factions of that site. In Pakistan I choose US Army Desert Camo so they fit in with the environment and there is waypoint config uh, which you shouldn't need to know too much about. It's only that uh, one of those later settings is specifically designed for air type units so um, you don't have to touch that really but if you want you can read up on that stuff on the internets. So what we want to do is create some infantry units. Uh, three groups should be nice, size of group. Two to four, two to six, it's random. The ones on the bottom, four to zero, six to zero mean that you get exactly four units spawned and no random uh, number of units. But I'm gonna stick to the random amount and choose two to four units. And uh, like I said, three groups there's this waypoint setting that you can edit. You don't really have to touch these as well. The defaults are quite nice. And um, you can switch each of these um, topics on and off so certain units or groups don't get spawned. And you can even switch between waypoints only zones and full zones which have the infantry or depending on what uh, you're gonna spawn in them. What this does is you could create zones which don't have any units but have waypoints. That way, if you, another unit shares the zone information with this one, they can actually go to these waypoints and um, you, without you having to spawn any specific uh, units there. So what this does is you could set up a patrolling area a, or point of interest where the units should go to, but only sporadically and not as a like main zone or main area of operation. So we have three infantry groups. I want to spawn vehicles too, so I switch those on and select uh, like two, two groups, uh, two to eight. That doesn't really matter. I do not want to have any tanks in the base, so I don't switch those on. But I do want to have air-camps. And uh, well, you could switch here between air units, so helicopters basically and camps which contain uh, artillery guns and a campfire and some uh, well nice sandbag setups and whatnot. So we have this enabled now. I want two camps in my airbase and uh, well that's pretty much it. What I have to do now is to select the position where this zone should be created. So go on the map, select the airfield and I'm um, gonna select the zone size in the horizontal axis 200 meters and the y-axis just 100 meters to have like a rectangular sh uh, shape for the units to be spawned in. And after I set the position and the size I save the DAC zone which does not put the units on the map yet. But if I open up the map you can uh, see that at the airfield there is now this white area uh, in which the units are gonna be spawned if I submit this zone to the server, which I'm gonna do right now. Um, there's one thing to keep in mind, if you create zones at the beginning of the mission, before you start the mission, you get the option to import or export these zones to clipboard, so you can easily re-import them 
uh, use them in a later mission, and even save whole mission setups like zones and the RTE stuff you placed in a custom file so you could easily import them quickly when you're gonna do this mission over again. But uh, like I said, we're just gonna submit and start this mission now. So you see, it submitted one zone at the top right corner and it's starting the mission. And we're just gonna have to wait a little bit for it to initialize. It's preloading camera now and uh, there is a BW mod error which you should not be getting on the 6N server, but here we are. And um, well, you can't see any units yet because the server still is gonna have to create them. There we go. Uh, it should take about one minute for the server to complete the first units at the beginning of the mission because it has to do quite a lot of stuff like spawn the ambient vehicles, the civilian stuff and whatnot. But after a minute or so, it should be good. And you see, we have all the units. They are moving, patrolling inside of the white area as marked on the map. And you don't have to remember to press any start buttons like you do when you use RTE units to actually make them move and do stuff. So like I said, we have two camps, nicely placed and spaced out on the airfield. And some like ambient uh, people, so the base doesn't look too deserted. And I didn't have to do a lot to achieve this. But now of course we want enemies too. So I open up the sixth menu again. And I have to remember that I changed the side. This time I want units from the east. And of course I want a faction. And this time I'm going to choose Takistani army because we are in Takistan of course. And um, very important is DAC settings. I did not talk about this one yet. It has zone IDs. The first zone I created had a default ID of 1. And what this does is zones with the same ID are linked together. So units inside of these zones with have, which have the same IDs share waypoints and information about what's going on in their zones. So they can go in and render support if somebody gets attacked and uh, well, they change waypoints so they go from one zone to another. But because I don't want the enemies to share information with our base or go there, I change the zone ID to 2. And um, I don't want, want any camps there, so I switched those off. It uh, remembered all the settings I put in before, so I could easily create the same zone setup twice and just change location, so I switched this off. I want to keep the vehicles though and the infantry, that's nice. So what I have to do now is set a new zone position, like, uh, well, for example, I'm this small town here. Just going to create a zone that's um, 100 by 100 meters and hit the save DAC zone. And because it remembers the settings I put in, I can easily just select the new position. Uh, as you can see, the one zone got saved here. No units have been spawned yet because I didn't submit yet. And I want more units here in Sultan Safe. So I just click there. Can change the size, but I'm not going to because 100 by 100 meters is fine. Hit save again. And uh, the zone was added. And I click Submit and clear queue, not start mission again, because we already did that, we started the mission. It's not going to do anything if you press this, but, uh, well, um, for all intents and purposes of this video, we're going to do it the right way. Click Submit and start, uh, Submit and clear queue. You could also just clear the queue, which would delete the zones in your local memory and not submit them to the server. If you made an error or something and you noticed it before submitting, you can just uh, redo the zones uh, by pressing this button. So I'm going to submit and clear. And it says two zones submitted, local zones cleared. And um, well, if I open up the map, I can see that there's one here at Sultan Safe and another one at this, uh, well, un the, this settlement which has no name. And um, this shows you that you can always create zones, not even, uh, even if you're already into the mission. So you can do this dynamically. And if I open up the RTE, and go to the two zones, like for example this one. I could, uh, should be able to see the units I just created, like there's the vehicles, and uh, there's one of the guy, the groups, two to six people, so this one just consists of two, and uh, there's another group, and there should be a third group, yeah, right here. And the same is true for that other zone I created. But I'm not gonna go there, you're just gonna have to trust me. Now, Mm, you can see if I open up the 6 menu again, there is uh, select zone. 
and it shows you that you already have three zones. So this is my base. This is the first zone with the cars and units, uh, infantry units at that undesignated village, and this is the one at Sultan Safe. And what you could do is you can select one zone, even with a DAC, like I unselected it to make sure I don't have anything uh, selected first, select zone number one. And what I can do is now reset the zone position or zone size. So if I want those to move, I just, uh, well, basically, what I do is I just uh, click on a new position, like in Loi Manara, and I don't have to submit anything. It just goes there automatically if I open up the map. You can see that the zone was moved. The units are still up on this village here, but they will start moving down to that new designated spot shortly, and uh, well, should be there in uh, just a bit. So, what I can also also show you is that you have the uh, possibility to switch the AI scripts during the mission without affecting the DAC zones you already have created. Like for example, I choose uh, select AI and select uh, UPS Mon, which is a different kind of AI script, um, which has also some advantages. You see that the well the menu changes, and uh, you can also create uh, UPS Mon units. But what you have to keep in mind is this uh, time you have to switch it around. So you have to first select the position. I'm going to do that right now. Like in Husrat Timam, select the size. I hope that other dude is not going to shoot me. And now that you selected the zone position and the size, you can, uh, well, spawn infantry there. I'm going to spawn some enemies. So, uh, Pakistani infantry. Uh, like an infantry section, an AT section, you see, that's zones, and a mechanized section. And um, now there's nothing spawned yet, but I can submit it now, like I did before, and you see it submitted three zones, but because unlike the DAC, it creates a known zone for every unit you create. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay, just real quick before that dude kills me, I'm just gonna kick him real quick. Ah, thank you, see you. And, um, well, if I open up... just gonna lock the server. If I open up the RTE in that town, um, you can also see now these zones are red, as opposed to the DAC zones, which are always white, to show you which side you put them on. Um, there's the units I created in that zone now. So you see, you can create um, UPS Mon and DAC zones in the same mission, so you can mix those up. And uh, like I said, if I open up the six menu again, you can see that there is now uh, more zones than before, and those three last zones are only the zones I just created. I can also move those around with the same options I used in the DAC um, zones, and edit what I created. So for example, if I want to move a zone because units there are not necessary, but I want to use them, and the action shifted to another location on the map, I just use that and move those zones around without having to create all new zones um, because I cannot delete zones I actually already created and this saves me the trouble of creating more stress on the server and use the assets I got more effectively. Alright, that's that for DAC and UPS Mon. Without having used the RTE, I already created a mission which should be fun to do. Just need to set an objective and we're good to go.